Hello and welcome to the MBKM Model Kits channel. Today we are going to connect a brushless motor to an electronic speed controller, okay, known as an ESC and motor known as a brushless. Now, the uh, brushless motor, which we have here, okay, brushless spins on the outside instead of the inside. Um, is This is an airplane motor, but they're also used in model boats. Um, it works on three phase electric. So for any of you who have worked in uh, factory maintenance over the years, um, I was an aircraft fitter and um, they have three phase electricity in machine shops, which is stop, forward and reverse. OK, so this thing works on the same. All right. Now, when I bought this, I bought a what is called a bundle. So I bought the uh, motor and the electronic speed controller together. The shop um, where I bought it online, which was a place called House Models, who are in Oxford in the UK. I will leave their link below. Um, sell bundles. So they've already sorted out the correct amps, the correct volts, this, that and the other. Uh, for you before you begin and if, if you're new to this it is recommended to do that right so i've got on um, this may be a hang long tank battery um it, it, I, i'm not sure but it's 7.2 volts um here's the electronic speed controller okay it's flashing away and on the back of it I have got it, uh, a water cooling system. Um, if you're running this in a model boat or anywhere else, you need to cool it down. Um, one uh, line goes to the pump, the other line goes out, and then the little electronic pump pumps water around and cools this because this runs very hot. And if you don't cool it, you can land up with a, a fire with serious damage. One guy who was um, in a, a club that I was in, they used to um, have club racer models, which were vac formed. And he did this without cooling the ESC and literally his boat caught fire and melted. Um, a lot of work and a lot of money uh, literally uh, destroyed. Um, I saw that boat and it was just like a melted lump of plastic. So make sure you uh you cool the esc down fully all right now the esc here we go so you've got your electronic speed controller all right if you can see this it has three wires coming off of it okay so you've got bullet connectors so what you do is connect each wire in position to its corresponding wire so you've got three wires coming out center one to center right to right and left to left now should you um, switch on your uh, controller and your uh, prop uh, runs the wrong way, just change the position of the outside too. Okay, just swap them over. Um, like I said, I mean, when you're presented with this, when it arrives, there's three black wires going to colored wires. And you think, how do I connect it up? Well, that's all you do. I mean, if you have a look at this, I've got, a bullet connector in there okay i soldered these in all right and they just clip in all right makes it easy easy if you want to get stuff out your boat or your plane um and that's all literally all there is to it so i'll say it again you've got three black wires going to three colored wires so what you do is connect connect each wire position to the corresponding position of the other wire so it's You've got the ESC, center to center, right to right, and left to left. If your prop shaft spins the wrong way, say in reverse, just change the outside two around. Okay, that's all you need to do. Now, I will hopefully, um, I've got the controller here, okay, the transmitter. It's already switched on, so I will now start the ESC there you go running away forward sorry about that okay so forward reverse but if you get that in your model and it's not in forward uh, it's round the wrong way just change the outside too I'm not going to do it on here because you won't see it all right okay now I've got two channels running on here so here's uh, for the rudder there you go all right 
there's for the rudder all right so it's it is simple all right i'll just turn this off it is simple to do as long as you know how all right and like i said it can be very daunting you you, you buy your uh, brushless motor you open the box three black wires okay um and then you've got to connect it to three colored wires but as you can see just connect it solder your bullet connectors on corresponding wires all right now it like i said if it runs the wrong way change the outside too um in all of it, it it's a very good system okay it it is very very good it's very high power it's excellent for patrol boats um you know, like vospers and um uh pt boats etc it is a very good system but it does run hot so you do need to cool it down i, I can only um express that to you now when you buy your water cooler you can also buy a heat sinking glue all right so uh, don't just put ordinary glue on it because it'll melt so you can buy you, you you can check this out online you can buy heat sinking glue and then you can stick the whole lot with a piece of velcro to the inside of the hull where all your electronics and your motor is all right so i hope that explains it all right i, I really do i hope that explains it to you um I've, I've got here a esc for a brushed motor all right so here's an esc it's a mantronics auto sport Ching 20. um the one for the brushless is a hydra g2 all right i i can't remember what amps these are i've owned them a very long time and i've ran them in several different models but this is for a brush motor if you notice you've only got the two connectors all right so you can only run that with a brush motor and then with a brush motor you would plug that in pretty much the same and then if it runs the wrong way just turn them round. all right so that's for a brushed motor and this one which is your viper all right is for a brushless motor all right and the brushless motor has three wires on it and the esc electronic speed controller will also have three wires on it so good luck um let me know how you get on leave your leave your comments below um and the good thing about youtube videos is you can stop them and rerun them it's not like taking advice off a mate or going to a lecture or anything like that um you can run the video back and forward and you can connect this and reconnect it to your heart's content. Now, the thing I found with this, I, it's a, uh, this, this particular uh, um, receiver and uh, transmitter are made by a company called Pulse. And when I connected it up, obviously I put them into the Mark channels and it didn't work. So um, the channel for the uh, servo here for the rudder I've got in a sort of unmarked channel on the lowest one there is. Um, and that was the only one I could find that would work it. So there are sort of um, small uh, things you have to do. And literally, is just keep going. Just try it to see how you get on. I mean, I plugged, like I said, I plugged this. I plugged the ESC in channel one. And then I plugged the uh, servo in channel two and um the servo wouldn't work so i moved it down moved it down moved it down and then put it in the bottom one and it all works there is a um when you uh buy radio control you you have to bind it but that would be a separate video and what you do is you bind the uh controller the transmitter we used to call this a transmitter nowadays people call it a controller now but it's a transmitter you bind the transmitter to the um receiver okay but it, that would be another video and there are instructions how to do it it's not so it can be a little bit temperamental that um but once it's bound together it will run 99 percent of times apart from when you get to the lake you want to run it and then it won't work i've seen that time after time people stripping electronics out because it won't work but 99 percent of the time it will okay so this is a very 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 good system 
Um, it's very powerful. It runs exceedingly hot. Um, uh, so hot that literally anything around it which is combustible will catch fire. But good luck and um, please let me know how you get on. And until next time.